Okay, here is the response to uh, section 11.6. Somehow I missed this email, I'm sorry. Uh, but here are, you said five through 12, or five through 10 and then number 12. Um, so five through 10, these are all, I'm going to show you one example. I'll just use number five, five as an example. They're all done exactly like this. All right. So it says sketch, uh, sector AOB is described by giving uh measure of angle AOB and the radius of circle O. So O is the center of the circle. Uh, make a sketch and find the length of arc AB and the area of the sector AOB. All right. So we got a, we got a circle. So for number five, the angle is 180 degrees. That's that's the diameter. Uh, so A and B are on the circle and O is the center of the circle. It's got a radius of 1.5. Pretty straightforward. We're going to do the uh, arc length first and then the uh, area of the sector. So the arc length is given by this formula right here. X is the central angle or the arc measure, either one. And we're told that that's 180 degrees. And we're told the radius is 1.5. If you look in the back of the book, they give the answer in terms of pi, meaning they're not going to actually multiply by pi here. So I'll do I'll do it that way. But if you had, since the instructions don't specifically say it one way or the other, you're fine to multiply by 3.14 if you want to. All right, so let's see what we got. Uh, 180 over 360 would be a half. Now, the answer in the back of the book is given as a fraction, so I'm going to change 1.5 into a fraction. By the way, once again, you could have typed this whole thing in your calculator, hit enter, and do a little bit of rounding there. So let's see, uh, twos would cancel, one times three is three, and it's still left with a two on the bottom. So that's the answer that's in the back of the book. Pretty straightforward. So let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, they're all done the same way. The only weird stuff is where the radius is a square root, but you can handle that. Um, you're just multiplying. Uh, I would I would leave your answer with the uh, square root as well too. Um, I wouldn't uh, change the square, for instance, on number 10, I wouldn't change the square root of three into a decimal. I would just leave your answer uh, with that root three on there. How about for the uh, area of the sector? So let's see, the area of the sector here, there's your formula. Uh, it uses the same two measurements, the central angle or the arc measure and the radius. Uh, and once again, the answer in the back of the book is um, uh, uh, given in terms of pi, so they're multiple, not plying by, mult, multiplying by pi. And they also give you a fractional answer. So they're changing that 1.5 into 3 over 2. They're squaring the 3 over 2, so that would be 9 over 4. And then multiply straight across, so you get nine over eight pi. And there is the total. So that's what that's the answer to just number five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten would be done in a similar fashion. Uh, radius point eight. Well, you could change that to eight over ten or four over five. Uh, number eight, you have a um, have a mixed number, so change that to an improper fraction. So six over five, and then. Take the uh, uh, 9 and 10, just put both of those over one term into a fraction. Uh, by the way, when you do the area for 9 and 10, when you square that, that would get rid of that square root. Okay, last one, you said number 12. Uh, it gives you the area and it gives you the central angle. Uh, what it doesn't give you is the radius. So they want you to find the radius. So I'm going to take the area formula right there. Uh, I know the area is 7 pi over 2. I know the central angle is 315. I'm just going to solve for R now. So the first thing I would do is uh, divide both sides by pi. So the pi's would go away. I would do a copy dot flip with the 315 over 360. So multiply both sides by 360 over 315. And then just do a heck of a lot of canceling. Obviously, on the right, everything cancels out. On the left... Well, let's see, 2 goes into 360 180 times. Turns out the 7 does go into 315. Uh, it goes 45 times. And turns out 45 goes into 180. Double 45 would be 90. So four of them, four 45s, would be 180. So all of that reduces just to four. Uh, a little bit hard to see what we have left here. So we have four on the left, and on the right we have an R squared. Take the square root of both sides, and you get to R is equal to 2.
I am being lazy there and leaving off of leaving off units. There are no units on it on uh, given here. So uh, to be entirely correct on the previous one for uh, arc length, it would be units, and for sector area, be units squared. And for this R right here, it would also be just the word units. So it's two units long. Okay, there's your explanation. If you have any more questions, please let me know.